Another extremely common question I get asked is, what is a bone spur? And the answer is simple. Actually, it's more of a, an attachment issue, something we call an enthesis. And what that is, is a tendon, ligament, fascia, or capsule, wherever it attaches, can pull over and over and cause a reaction on the bone. So for example, in the foot and ankle, down here with your classic plantar fasciitis and uh, heel spur formation, or, which is the plantar fascia attachment down here, and also the Achilles in the back of the heel here, uh, this forms a lot. Now on the top of the foot, it's actually one of the most common bone spurs, and you'll see this bump in the middle here on some people, and that's right where the cuneiforms, which are these square bones here, and the metatarsal bases form. They push against each other, they pull, the, the ligaments on top do a little tugging, and of course the body says, hey, uh, the attachment's getting little micro tears, so I'm going to overreact and lay down some more bone. And what it looks like on x-ray, since you can't see these soft tissue structures, is the bone is actually coming straight up, or a spur is forming, but is not true. They don't actually grow out of the bone. Again, they're an attachment um, calcification, if you will. Others can form at the digits between their toes. Uh, that can literally be on the side here. A lot of folks just have a little bit of a prominence, uh, which is not so much a bunion deformity, but just a bump of bone here that we can shave off, and that's even a spur itself. So again, kind of simple, uh, but at least you know where the origin comes from and what a bone spur, spur is. Treatment for bone spurs, of course, the obvious looser shoe, uh, mesh, mesh top shoes, the laceless shoes, those are all easy to get on the market. And don't forget about those donut felt pads where they have the center cut out, a little bit of adhesive, you can put it right on top of the foot around the spur, that'll relieve some pressure. But I think the best thing on the market are the silicon sheets. And that takes care of the shear stress with the skin moving back and forth on underneath the shoe, irritating the soft structures and the nerves. Surgery is also an option. That's pretty easy. These sutures come out in around two weeks and depending on the integrity of the incision, you can also get right back into a shoe. And if you'd like to see some of those surgeries, you can log on to my generic YouTube channel, which is Dr. Robert J. Moore III, where you can subscribe and see other surgeries. Well, again, hope that was helpful. And if you have any other questions, feel free to reach out on the YouTube channel. Stay healthy and one step ahead.